2010-0253 Parish President's Remarks, Mr. St. Pierre. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, hats off to our RSVP staff for doing a great job with the Organizing the Volunteers Recognition event in, which was held in St. James Parish last Tuesday. And congratulations to all the many volunteers who, had, or, who were recognized for their services to the community. We greatly appreciate uh, their time and effort. Uh, some of these people that were recognized had over 25 years continuous service to uh, help in the, helping, uh, in the community. Uh, I, along with several other council members, attended the uh, NACO conference. Uh, our public information director, uh, Ms. Renee Simpson, rec was recognized for seven National Association of Accounting Information Officers Awards of Excellence Honors. Uh, there was also one award that she was uh, there, she was uh, nominated for, was the National Award, which we didn't get. There was a lady from Jacksonville, Florida, who did a documentation on uh, restoring uh, the Harry Truman Courthouse. So. Renee, as soon, as soon as they announced that, she said she knows what she got to do next year to win it, so we expect another to win it next year. Um, also, uh, it, it was uh, at the conference, it was uh, very refreshing uh, to know that the people around the country uh, sympathized with us in, our, in the, what's going on in the Gulf. In fact, the outgoing, chair, uh, outgoing president, Ms. Brown, started her remarks off with, uh, with you know, about uh, Louisiana, what's going on in the Gulf. And when we talk to some of these people from around the country, it's affecting them already. I've talked to several people from uh, North Carolina who are sitting around the table having coffee, and they said they can't get those good Louisiana oysters anymore. They're paying $25 a pound for shrimp, so it's not only affecting people in Louisiana, it's affecting people from around the country. And also, it was, it, it was amazing to find out that how good, of a, how good of a shape that our parish is in compared to some of the other counties or boroughs, whatever they call them from around the country, is that is that the, they all have the same problem, infra infrastructure problems, and that uh, you know their sales taxes. Are, I talked to some of them; their taxes are off 34 to 40 percent. In Reno, the unemployment rate was 24 percent. It's you know we lucky to have you know we under like six percent here, so we have a lot to be thankful for. Uh, the Hasco baskets, like Scott said, was uh, this weekend uh, due to the uh, Bonnie incident that was erected over the weekend in Desalman. Uh, and we want all the residents to know that they will remain in place throughout the hurricane season to protect them against storm surges in the area. It was determined that the manpower at this time it would take to tear the baskets down would be a counterproductive to our goals of protecting the residents' home from flooding due to tidal surges. We're urging the residents to be careful and cautious around these baskets. We did put up blinking lights so they don't run into them at night. I think it's uh, it's a lot a lot safer. I think we have more protection with these baskets than we did with these tubes because these, as you know before we said the kids go around and stick knives in the tubes or they ride the four wheels on top of them. The guys didn't have to bend over to be working on them. They were working upright and uh, uh, I think it really went well. Did you show some pictures from that? Okay. If, if you hadn't seen you go out there and really take a look at it. It looks like a, a really professional job. And our last thing and on a sad note, our deepest condolences to the family, uh, family of Richard Haig dedicated employee of St. Charles Parish Public Works Department, uh, we ask that you continue to keep his family in our prayers. And that concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. St. Pierre.